Here we have a new 2023 Ford F-350. This one is a regular cab in the single rear wheel configuration with an eight foot long bed. Comes in Oxford white on medium dark slate vinyl interior. We also have the FX4 package on this one. And the powertrain consists of a 6.7 liter turbocharged V8 diesel engine. Made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. The truck's in regen mode now, so it's pretty loud as we get up front here, but halogen headlamps. And even though this is a base model truck, still has a, a nice clean look to it, even though all of that is black plastic, but I like how it goes with the white. And down here we have really nice 18 inch steel wheels. Running boards there. And then to the door panel here, power mirror controls, we can turn those on and off and adjust direction there. Power door lock controls are here. And then we do get one touch automatic up and down windows on both doors. And when the vehicle's locked, if you unlock it, hit the unlock button and then hold on the third time, it'll go ahead and roll the windows down for you. But plenty of space in the door panel, two bottle holders there bed lamp headlight controls auto corners off and then that's full low beams and then we can adjust the brightness of the gauge cluster there electronic parking brake pull up to engage to the brake press down and disengage hood release right here and there's our manual driver's seat we do get manual lumbar support which is nice to have and then this is the control for the seat back and then we can scoot the seat bottom back and forth right there And then this is where we can put our diesel, def fuel on the right. But coming back around to the back here, like the updated look definitely. And a huge shout out to Ford Lincoln of Franklin for allowing me to review this truck today. I'll leave a link below to it in the description. And this one does have the fifth wheel prep package. So we can run all of our lights and whatnot here. Then tow hitch is here. Underneath the vehicle is a spare tire. But I'm curious to see how this FX4 rides, having that off-road suspension. And then here we have the front passenger seat, which is gonna be manual, but no lumbar here. Lockable glove compartment, owner's manuals are still in this one. Then we have an additional pocket up top, which I like. And then pretty much same storage and controls on the front passenger door panel. But window stickers here, y'all can pause anywhere you want to. Now this one does have like another 10 grand added on for having the diesel and then a few other packages. And there's our sticker price there. But coming back around to the front here, go ahead and pop the hood. And there's a 6.7 liter power stroke. But especially sitting here, I feel like that engine just has a, a menacing sound to it. Let's hop in the driver's seat. Gonna turn the fan speed down a little bit on the AC. So vinyl wrap steering wheel here. We do get this eight inch touchscreen over here. So that's the home page. We can toggle the audio on and off. We do have buttons and whatnot down here, but you can pretty much do everything you need to from the screen. And then pretty easy to add a phone for Bluetooth. And it also gives us the compatibility to use wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. And then we have our AM, FM, and then Bluetooth there. And then settings, if you wanna adjust your sound, that's there. General settings, you go in here, you can adjust your temperature units to 
Celsius instead of Fahrenheit, change your language. Spanish or French, measurement, you can go from miles to kilometers. And you can even change your tire pressure units as well. Software updates, you can get those. And then we have all of our vehicle settings there. And then here we can go through our zone lighting, driver assistance, towing. So not a lot going on with this and being the more basic model, but still, if you don't need all that extra stuff, you're still in good shape. But that's the exhaust brake toggle there, hazards here, traction control, downhill brake control. And then trailer brake controller is over here. And we have our four wheel drive controls here, rear differential lock there. And then we can go through our drive modes and it'll show us what mode we're in on the gauge cluster. So eco, tow haul, normal, slippery, and off-road. And then down here we have our climate controls. So nothing fancy, just single zone manual. So we can adjust temperature, adjust fan speed, cut the whole system off, control fan direction, AC. And then we do have heated mirrors so we can control those. And then a 12 volt. And then I love having the 120 volt three prone household plug-in right there. USB-C, USB-A duo there, another 12 volt, and then a little storage pocket there. Storage above here. Now this is a middle seat, but to get that down, we just push this button and pull. It's hard to do that with one hand, but two more additional cup holders there. You can place a phone here if you want to, and then center console cubby space. Love having that additional storage there. And pretty easy to put that back up and then once that's up you have an additional storage pocket there and you can lock that so that's where the release is for that now back to the steering wheel windshield wiper controls are here and then we have low and high and then we have our wiper fluid there on the side we just push that button and blinkers are here and when the lights are on we can toggle the high beams and then flash here. And the shifter is the right stock, so just pull, reverse, neutral, drive, then hit that in for manual mode and you can manually shift right here. And then to the left side of the steering wheel, cruise control toggle there, mute button for the audio, and we can set and cancel the cruise there. And then down, up for audio, voice recognition, and then we have our menu and we can use these arrows and this okay button to go through all that in the digital part of the gauge cluster. So we can see off-road status, engine hours, maintenance settings, and then in the select screen, you can go ahead and decide what you want to have up there. So I like to keep the tire pressure up. So then when you go back here, you can scroll through all of those options, whatever you have picked out. And then Bluetooth button, you can go through your track list or radio station presets using these two arrows. And then here's the key fob turnkey, but we do have power door locks we can unlock and lock with remote entry there. But next is go ahead and take this F-350 out on the road for a quick test drive. So starting the test drive in this F-350, I drove an F-250 a while back that was a single cab, XL, pretty base model. I wanna say that one had the diesel engine as well. And it's just, especially with this FX4 package, very, very rough ride. Now it's a heavy duty truck, so it's nothing unexpected, but there's just something about getting up in the higher trim levels so getting a, an xlt a lariat something along those lines i drove a limited f350 and that ride was just so much more plush but i mean for an extra forty thousand dollars that's what you get now this one's stickering at around 62 especially if you're just going to be using it for work purposes you probably don't need to spend that 40 grand unless you just want to have all that luxury or if you're gonna turn that into a daily driver. 
then you probably don't want to be as uncomfortable as in the XL. Now again, it's nothing unexpected. It's certainly not the roughest vehicle I've driven. Older heavy duty trucks certainly give this one a run for its money in terms of roughness, but again, you have the long bed, you have the FX4 package. So not surprising. But all in all, the truck is pretty easy to drive with it being a single cab. And especially with the long bed, it's not as awful as it could be. Now I have the truck in eco mode now. And the good thing is I really don't sense that much of a difference compared to the normal drive mode. But of course it's gonna be a little more economically friendly than your normal drive mode. And while I'm driving here, I do realize that with this being a single cab and not having any room in the back, I can't really get the seat where I want it to be. Just in terms of being able to recline it a little bit more. But I did forget to mention that the aux switches are right here and it's nice to have those kind of right there because the seat is up a bit more. And those are optional on this truck. And then your sunglass holder right there. Now again, with this one being the long bed, especially when I hit bumps with nothing in the bed, that rear end goes a little nuts. Just in terms of feeling that ricochet as I go over something. But again, nothing out of the ordinary. But again, the driving dynamics are not awful, but this is a hefty truck. But for what you can do with this truck, it's a pretty nice trade-off in my opinion. And I will say compared to maybe a, a Silverado 2500, I feel like this rides pretty similarly to that. But for whatever reason, I feel like the, the F series Super Duties are just a, a tad rougher, but they might have to do with the capacity that they have. So I'll work to make sure I leave the tow capacity, payload capacity in the description below. But again, for how this truck rides, you certainly get pretty good tow and payload numbers. Let's give it a little throttle here. We'll put it in a normal mode. So one benefit of having this heavy duty truck is the tow mirrors that you get. And I love that even though this doesn't have blind spot monitors, you have that lower mirror and that really helps you see vehicles that are right next to you. So again, with a truck this big, it's nice to have that additional help in terms of saying what's in your blind spot. But just coasting here again with an empty bed, the long bed, it's actually a pretty nice ride. A lot nicer than it was in town. And road noise is actually not as prevalent. I think a lot of that has to do with just how loud the diesel engine is. But sound acoustics themselves in the cabin, actually pretty relaxing to me at least.
But I mean, this is an XL F350, nothing crazy going on here, not a lot of luxury. It just, it drives like a work truck and for $63,000, do you want something like that? Do you want to go up a couple trim levels and have a nicer ride, nicer amenities, more adjustability in the seats and the back seat? It's up to you. But this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2023 Ford F-350 XL.